Signs at bars tell customers when to drink, who can drink, and what to drink. But some will also dictate where weapons can't be and why. I just don't believe that alcohol and guns mix. Bill Ball, the manager of Town Pump, has argued that since Arkansas lawmakers first shot out the enhanced carry idea at the Capitol. More bars are saying the same things with signs, like flying saucer in the river market. But they don't need a piece of paper to make their business a gun-free zone. Other bars like Fessler Hall, Brewski's, and Samantha's Tap Room plan to notify customers one-on-one. -on -one. The law lets them do this verbally or in writing. They have a perfect right to come in if it's not uh, posted. Uh, with their concealed carry. Under the enhanced carry law, permit holders cannot legally be forced to leave, but it will be illegal to return to that bar with a gun. I think it's just best to let them know on the front end. I do not prescribe to the notion that it makes us a soft target. Ball makes it clear his bar isn't defenseless. We've had one pistol pulled in here since the law was passed. The guy did not have a concealed carry and he was immediately disarmed. We disarmed him. Just one of the staff. We did. State police have issued nearly a thousand enhanced carry licenses. But Ball bets businesses like his won't see a thousand more guns taking a seat at the bar. Just because there are more concealed carries doesn't mean there's more people carrying guns. They, a lot of people carry guns that don't have that.